Now let us discuss about biased positive clippers. So here now we will have a voltage supply also in the circuit. Now if you observe the circuit carefully, we are having diode and at negative side we applied V1 voltage. So here also we will verify the two conditions when the diode is conducting, when the diode is not conducting. Now let us consider when the diode is conducting. So here at negative side we have V1, so at positive side the voltage should be more than V1, right. So the one condition is when Vs is the supply voltage is more than V1, what will happen? So when voltage is more than V1 then, then, then diode will conduct. So do, at this point diode D1 is in on condition. When the diode is in on condition what will happen? If the diode is conducting, so the voltage across this one is same as V1. So at this point the output voltage is same as the V1. So during this period the output voltage is same as V1. Now let us consider other case. When Vs is less than V1, when input voltage is less than V1, so at this point Vs is less than V1, so the voltage across the diode will be, so here Vs is, this is the V1 you are applying at negative voltage, at negative side, but positive side is less than V1. So positive side is less, but negative side is more, diode will be in the open circuit. When the diode is in open circuit, this is uh, reverse bias open circuit, so output voltage across this one is same as the Vs. So during this period, so diode D1 is in off condition, when the diode D1 is in off condition, output voltage is same as Vs. Now let us represent this on the waveform. So this is the input waveform which is in dotted, dotted lines. Now let us take V1 is the reference signal we took. Now what is the condition when Vs is greater than Vi. So here when V input signal is more than V1, this, this peak is more than V1. So remaining thing is less than V1. Again this is more than V1. So when Vs is greater than V1, diode D1 is in off condition. When it is, uh, when it is on condition, so we will get this output voltage same as the V1. So this voltage when it is more than V1, will, output will be clipped to V1 only. Again during this period when input is less than input is less than V1, diode is in off condition. When it is off condition, you will get same output voltage. So during this period, the output is same as V input. Again negative side here also, it is input is less than V1. So when input is less than V1, we will have the waveform like this. Again at this point input is going more than V1, when input is more than V1, output is same as V1, so it will be clipped to V1 only, again negative peak, we will get the negative peak, again negative peak like this. So here if you observe the output waveform clearly, so the positive peaks are clipped away, the positive peaks are clipped away, so this is a positive clipper circuit. In this, if you observe this, if you take V1 as 0, so what will happen? If this V1 as 0, this is just like a positive clipper we discussed in the earlier session. So this is one biased positive clipper. Now let us see the other circuit. So here also we have to see the references, when the diode is conducting, when the diode is not conducting. So observe, this is the negative side and this is the positive side. Positive side we have a voltage V1 and negative side we have a supply EVS. So here when the diode will conduct here, the diode will conduct when this positive side is more than the negative side. So here the condition is when Vs is less than V1, when Vs is less than V1 then it will conduct. So if you take when Vs is less than V1, observe this is I am taking this diode in this circuit I am taking diode as D2. So when Vs is less than V1, D2 will be in on condition. because this is Vs is less, V1 is more, so it will conduct. When it is conducting, so what is the voltage across this one? If it is conducting, the voltage across this one is same as the Vs. So here when it is conducting, so because it is conducting, because the diode is conducting, it is short circuit, so the voltage V0, Vs will appear across this one. So V0 is equal to Vs at that point. Now let us take another condition when Vs is greater than V1, so here we are having V1, but Vs is more than V1, when it is more than V1, uh, so this is reverse bias, because we are having less voltage here, we are having more voltage here, diode is reverse bias, when diode is reverse bias, this is open circuit, when it is open circuit, output voltage is same as 
v1 so in this condition when d2 is in the off condition when d2 is off that means reverse bias when it is reverse bias output voltage is same as the v1 so actually both circuits will give the same output waveforms like this so here uh, when vs is greater than v1 so when it is greater than v1 will it is it is clipped to v1 only when it is less than v1 it follows the input waveform so both circuits will give same output waveform we call it as biased positive clipper circuits.